here today um, at the Football Memories Project. It's been running here at Tyne Castle for just over a year and in that time it's been delivering some fantastic support for local people living with dementia by reviving memories of football and Hearts Football Club. The project runs on the last Tuesday of every month here at Tyne Castle. This is a meeting of gentlemen who are suffering from what is a very natural human disease, Alzheimer's. Basically what we as supporters of football hope will bring back memories to them, bring back their memories which they can talk about and explain to ourselves and to their colleagues who are here today. The idea is to show them old books, magazines, photographs, anything that relates to football, and in particular here, Heart of Midlothian Football Club. My role in the project is to expand the number of groups in Scotland, make sure that the volunteers are supported, and provide adequate resources to keep each of the hundred and odd teams going. And it started from a nucleus of just three in a pilot scheme, and we've been absolutely amazed at how quickly the project has developed. And the project at Hearts was one of the early ones, but now that we've had some supportive funding from UEFA, it's enabled us to do much more. The um, project's been supported by Big Hearts and by the club. We obviously hold the sessions here at Tyne Castle, um, and that has an immediate impact on, on the guys who are coming along to the, um, to the project. You can see when they come into Tyne Castle Stadium what it means to them in terms of um, the, their football memories, and, and they can recall old games and old players and old matches and incidents from games just from being here at Tyne Castle. The use of a football stadium is, is hugely beneficial because the moment the, the guys come in, they can sense they're in a football environment, they can see the caps, the, the trophies and the balls, and it's a quick stimulus, whereas if you're having this meeting in a community setting or a resources centre, you wouldn't have that same immediate impact. The project couldn't run without the support of some fantastic volunteers um, who give their time and commitment, their energy. I got involved because I saw an article in the Hearts programme at the time that they were going through a bad time and they were looking for people to help out. So I offered my services as a Hearts fan of many, many years. I've been a Hearts fan since a childhood, followed them through childhood, I've done a lot of research in the Hearts Football Club and I'm quite happy to come along and help and I've also been involved in the local community elsewhere. The most powerful quote I think was from one lady who said that she brought someone with dementia to the meeting and then collected her husband. The success of the project is clear. Um, the recall of the men attending can be quite spectacular. Some of the stories that are told are really quite fascinating and stories that you wouldn't necessarily read about in history books. And feedback from, from um, carers and members of the family has really shown how, what a positive impact it's having on um, people's health and well-being um, and, their, and their general well-being. Um, so it's, it's been fantastic to be involved and it's something that we are really keen to support going forward. Mm -hmm.